Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game live stream. Today we're going to be playing the game Bad Ad, and we're also going to be playing the game Buffy the Vampire Slayer by Jasco Games. If you're interested in either one of these games, there'll be a link down below in the description where you can pick them up. Bad Ad will come out sometime in the next week or two on Kickstarter, and Buffy is available available for purchase right now. You can pick it up. <laughs> so if you're interested, you can pick up these games. Uh, one game is a party game and the other is a cooperative game. It plays about an hour or so. So the stream should be about an hour and a half in total. We'll start it off with bad ads and we'll move on to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Let's go ahead and jump into the live stream. Um, so basically in bad ad, you laugh, you lose, uh, which plays two to eight players, ages 13 and up, 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, we're going to be taking on the role of junior or inexperienced or intern advertisers. So uh, we're looking to make it rich and have dollars. Oh, okay, so each of us start with da, 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 uh, $6 in cash cards. The green is $1, the gold is $2. They can just give us a combination. And it's $6 total? Yep. So maybe you like two and two yeah that works uh so each round we're all going to be assigned a product that we need to sell so our company has already decided some details so you'll have a bathtub safe hair dryer <laughs> so you'll have what you gotta sell you'll have what's happening in the ad and an object that needs to be central in your ad so you get one minute so we have the timer here for one minute to sort of create a short ad that's going to include all of those things. When the timer runs out, we'll each share our ad going around the table. And if the opposing players smile or laugh, they have to buy the product by giving dollars. So if you smile, you have to give one dollar. If you laugh, you have to give two dollars. Oh no. Okay, that's it. That's it. Print pencils down. <laughs> trying to trying to get an extra bonus count. You both are trying to get some bonus time. Okay, so who starts with their ad? Uh, the youngest player. Which would be me. Okay, go ahead. And you can guys, you guys can watch us as we attempt to determine whether or not your product is uh, has any value to us. All right, finally got yourself under control with a nice, cool bank. You can finally get rid of the protein powders in order to sit there and get yourself back into the gym, get yourself back into shape. That way, everybody's ready for the summer holidays. What are you selling? Abandoning protein powder. Oh. Oh, I heard you say get rid of your protein powder. Yeah, that's what I thought you said, get I rid said of abandoning. it. abandoning. Oh, banding. I thought you said abandoning. Yeah, abandoning. <sighs> Sadly, I have no. no interest in your protein powder. I apologize. Perhaps right. if I had more of a um, workout routine or like some type of like shake oh, came with selling it. Selling is a cool bank. I, I did not line that up anywhere near good. And then the next youngest would be me. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go ahead and go. You guys ready at home? <clears throat> I'll watch you too as well. Now I know most of you have had a lot of trouble attempting to install seatbelts while wearing <laughs> while wearing waterproof pants. Tired of slipping, sloshing, and sliding in your car because of your pants covered in water now falling onto your seats causing mold? Well, you're going to need Michael's or Geichel's car insurance in order to ma maintain your car even while wearing waterproof pants. Pick up Geichel's now. What are you driving while wearing waterproof pants? All right, you got me. <laughs> waterproof. You got me with Geico. <laughs> that, the Geico was pretty good. I'm going to discard these. Had to keep the good good uh, poker face going on there. Though. I was thinking of pants that actually had water inside of them, and then as I was saying it in my pitch, I realized that they were waterproof pants, so there was no way for water to stay in them. I don't know why. I always think of this like jacuzzi suit where you actually have your, like, you put your pants on and it's just a jacuzzi inside. Oh, I've always that wanted. Would I would be buy. So weird. I would buy pants like that. You know what I'm talking about? Where you have it's like, it's like um, it's like plastic pants that have like suction around your leg, your like knee, your uh, legs, and just water inside, and it has like a little heater, and it's like a jacuzzi while you're sitting down on your couch. <laughs> no. See, I would, would you guys not want to buy that? I would do that if it was as like, seen on TV, like a you know, 
a jacket, stuff like that, so that way you can actually do more for your uh, back. I don't know. Just something I've always wanted. Okay. Callie, are you ready? All right. Are you just standing there while she's waiting for you to kneel and propose? Well, I've got the product for you. You can easily use our peanut butter ring box in order to easily drop the ring box and kneel and propose without trouble. She will get a slippery <laughs> peanut buttery diamond <laughs> ring on her finger. That is so gross. <laughs> okay. You, Why? Oh, it's, that is oh, gross. That's what I got. <laughs> you can have the dollar that you gave me back. Sounds almost like a laugh. But, you know. Slippery um, peanut butter ring. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to grab my own cards now. You guys can do the same. <laughs> and so we just keep going, right? We yeah. just keep making our own advertisements. And whoever Wait, gets stuff. Whoever gets up to. Uh, okay, so they say you play five rounds. Oh, okay. Whoever okay. has the most cash after that. Yeah. Ready? I'm. Yeah. You. Okay, All that's right. it. Oh my gosh. And we'll, we'll go the other way now. You can go first, Kelly. Okay. I'm ready. I am prepared for this. I don't. Uh, are you prepared? Is the question. I have a photo or a, a visual to go with mine. Is your poor piggy bank just overflowing? Not only with some of your cash, but also your receipts. You need Snout Taxware, the new tax software that makes it easy to take all those receipts out of your poor little piggy bank and show some appreciation for your hard-earned cash. I mean, I would probably buy it just yeah. because it's kind of cool. <laughs> know that. Snout. Even, even with the, the little... It's very cute. It, it, I find it it's very cute. cute. I will give it that. <laughs> but who put receipts in a piggy bank? I just figured it all <laughs> together somewhere, you know. All right. I'm, I am prepared. Now you, an owner of a log cabin house out in the middle of nowhere with a few appliances, might suddenly come home to realize that your toaster, your lawnmower, your vacuum, and your lamp may have all left on an adventure. And you must attempt to grab them before they escape. You're going to need to use Michael's Smelly Markers, Butter Scented and Toast Scented Markers. Throw them in the direction that you want to gather said toaster, and hopefully, with a little bit of smelling niceties, it will attract said toaster away from trying to attempt to get back to your new furnished home, staying in its location, gathering that toaster, and keeping it in place. That's right, Michael's Smelly Markers. Protect yourself and make sure that your appliances stay where they need to be. When I figured out it was a little toaster. <laughs> yeah, that, that got me. The, the old school nostalgia of the little toaster. I gotta sell smelly markers, but I have a toaster that's escaping. I'm like, what? what when does toasters escape? I know. <laughs> when do toasters escape? <laughs> There's only the one only time one. <laughs> I know of is is from. But you know, you picked a good one to use. That's on. that movie is very sad, by the way. Like it I is. remember the car. As a child, my parents would let me watch that movie, and there was a little the car smashing scene. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh yeah. And I was like, long too. I was yeah. like, wow, like they're really like this is about Brutal. death, and yeah. I'm like, I, I, kind of a little bit of a lesson thing I'm digging, but also like a little bit. A little bit dark, mm -hmm. but um, yes, the little toaster, the brave little toaster, right? That's what it is. That's what it's called. And there's a sequel, I think, or like three movies now. I don't know. It's like the Lambert Four Times, the first good movie, and then and they made nine like movies later. Is that how many they made? I don't know. I, I watched. Lost track. I think I watched. Yeah, I watched a lot of them. <laughs> I watched a couple, but mainly due to my sister when yeah, she was younger. Sister, yeah. I think I watched like the first four, and that was it. Comment below if you enjoy The Brave Little Toaster or if you enjoy The Land Before Time. Which one do you enjoy more? That's what I really want to know. That While playing the game, Bad Ads, you laugh, you lose. That is a good question. This is also an ad for Bad Ads. <laughs> and it is a bad ad. 
I did attempt to. All right, let's go ahead and let's give you another right. shot. Here's your, here's your redemption arc. Did you enjoy the small, smelly racers back in the day? They gave you all the nice, fun scents. But hated how noisy they were when they, you know, sat out a little bit too much. I've got the best nostalgia trip for everybody. I've got the small, smelly erasers allowing you to sit there and enjoy your work, to do what you gotta do, keep the finances in order, and at a very cheap cost. I... <laughs> that... You, you got me when you said that the smelly markers made noise. I'm like, this makes no effing sense at all. I'm like, what? It's not. What? Does it even. Here, you can have a dollar because I heard that. I'm like, what? If I saw this ad on TV, I would. my mind would be blown. Have you ever got irritated when those smelly markers, like, made lots of noise when they sat around on the table? Okay. Those erasers, when they dried out a little bit, they did not work very well. But they they didn't make noise. noise. Yeah, they they did. When they just sat there, though, you had to say they were scribbling. You said they were, like, laying there making (laughs) noise. What are they doing? I'm a brave little toaster fan. Yeah, so am I. I didn't mind the first Land Before Time. However, both of those movies are really sad and involve, like, a lot of, um, like, little things about death and, like, rebirth. and Yeah. Just kind of like a... Yeah. Learning experience in some ways, and maybe a little dark for other people. How's it going, Serge? Yeah, hey, Serge, how you doing, man? Um, okay, okay, I'm, re- I'm, I'm ready. I'm okay. Okay, Good? and go! Okay. That's it. That's it. I don't... Okay, I get to go first now. Oh, sure. We'll go this way. Um, this is a really hard one. Can't give me more. <clears throat> Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Hit me. Are you one of those people who are consistently, constantly laughing always, forever? Do you also happen to have hardwood floors? And if so, do you need to have knee pillows so that when you're constantly laughing like I am all day, every day, forever, you need to be able to be on these knee pillows to not hurt your knees while sitting on the floor. If this specific scenario is for you, which it is for me, and many others, then you will need a robot mop. Robot mops allow you to mop the floor without having to do so because you are hysterically laughing 24 seven every day of the year for the rest of your life on your knee pillow. Use this to keep your hardwood floors clean while your knees safe and snug on the pillow. The robot mop. You guys were holding it in, I know it. I know, I saw like the puffy, puffy cheeks going on, I know it. (laughs) This specific scenario is good for, damn it, you guys are very, very, very close. I had to, like, it was, I had, my object was a knee pillow. Yeah. I was, you have to be laughing, Mm -hmm. and then I need to sell you a robot mop. See, what came to mind when you were doing that was those full body suits that had the microfiber that people would <laughs> sit there and squeal across the ground on. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah, of that. I'm color. like, oh, I God, was just thinking, so cringy. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. what if somebody needs to be on the floor because they're laughing, but they still want to mop? Well, you can use a Roomba, I guess. <laughs> Robot mop. Right. All right. I, I did my bestest, my darndest. Yeah. Go ahead. Got a sore throat. But moist towelettes aren't helping get some of the pleasing cough drops to soothe out your throat. That way you can get back to enjoying having the conversations, cracking the jokes, talking on the phone, whatever suits your fancy. You can't do any of that if you don't have your throat feeling good. And you can do that with having some of the pleasing cough drops. I mean, I, I, I would buy that. Are you just throwing me cough drops because I have a bad throat? Yeah. I mean, I'd buy that. I mean, I'll just give you a dollar because that's a good ad. Your no, ad, wait, let me see. Let me see what yeah, it says, well, though. Were... Objects is a moist towel. When did you use that? Right at the beginning. Pleasing. The pleasing cough drops. You did it. What's the happening is than pleasing the, the cough drops. <laughs> No, because that's not what's happening is, is you're pleasing is your throat the from scene. the cough drops. Do I give him a dollar? I did it correctly. 
Uh, <laughs> it's being a little gamey. It's it's um I mean it's up for interpretation, I guess. No dollar for <laughs> you. Right, you almost right. I was almost willing to because I thought you had a like a good set of cards. All right, Callie. Wow us. Give me the Zwada Viva I need to buy your product. I'm ready and willing, and I've got a lot of dollars. I caught you admiring my smart house, but you can have a smart house and have others admire you too. You can have these special LED smart lights that actually smell. Yes, they smell. They can smell when you're cooking and they'll automatically took on, click on and light your way to culinary delight. Okay, I did smile. Smelly what lights. Part? Smelly lights. The lights that can smell. Oh, I thought it was the. I thought it's when they turn on. I smell them. I'm like, I guess I could use that. Like you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, and your DM is like, you walk into a misty rainforest, and then he pushes like oh, blue and green, and like you get this like green blue area, and then all of a sudden the lights like emit like a smell of yeah. like forest. I'm like, I could see that being never a thing, but a cool idea and concept. Smelly lights. No, but it's the lights, lights that, that smell. They could smell. That's when they know to turn on when you're cooking. But you're saying they're lights that actually smell things? Yeah. So they smell you cooking burnt toast and they turn on for you? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a really dumb product, but I mean. <laughs> well, the goal isn't to have a good product. The goal is to make someone laugh. That that's true. But what, is that? what are you trying to sell me? Where does it say? Show me your card. The admiring and then the pan for cooking. Which Sm would be in the photo. You're trying to sell smart LED lights. Yeah. Not smell, like not smell LED lights. No, they but just you can extra use smart. the creative freedom. Uh -huh. Get it on there. But extra I mean, smelly I, think I had to work in, in cooking. Order, uh, in order to house smart LEDs, being, them being able to smell would definitely make them smart. I suppose so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think ours does anything near that. I think it turns the light on and off. That's probably about it, though. Yeah, this just has another way for you to turn them on and off. Uh-huh. No cheating and looking early. <laughs> oh, I I'm not, um, I don't see anything anyway. Go ahead. All right, and go. I have to actually write too, anyhow. What do yeah. I got here? All right, who went first last time? Was that me? Yeah, you went first last time, so bringing it around would be mine. Sure. All right. Tired of fighting with your significant other on where to go out to eat all the time? Everybody always has that problem. I know I sure do. But... When it comes down to that, make it simple. Grab a nice granola bar, relax on the couch, pop on your favorite movie. You can always enjoy a good granola bar. I guess I could. That's so sad. <laughs> yeah. Like a Realism. <laughs> here, you, here you go, buddy. You're... you're Wait, wait. So you don't go out to dinner with your significant other? You Instead, you just stay bar. at home and eat like carbs. You can't decide on where you want to go. Guess what? Granola <laughs> bars it is. You both, or just you? You just said you. You. So like your, your like, partner <laughs> goes like, out. Oh, I want sushi. See you later. You don't want it. All right. I guess I I'll guess just. I'll I'm just gonna bar. stay home and have a granola bar. That's how I'll die alone. Oh. You're up, Kelly. Okay. All right. Do you collect ties or purses or dresses or any other kind of fabric item like blankets? Oh no! I spilled mouthwash all over your collection. Don't worry, we have special laundry detergent. Mouthwash be gone. That'll get any tough stain out, including that pesky, vibrant blue kind of mouthwash. You almost got me. Almost. You got. You got. You got him. You got yeah. him. That's two. That's two dollars. You didn't. I chuckled. You, you laughed out loud. I, I I chuckled. I just didn't yeah. laugh loud. I'm honest that about was, it. That was. It was. Uh. We had laundry detergent that we got to sell with mouthwash and collecting <laughs> the action. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do my best. Yeah, this yeah, is now 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 guys. When playing games like this, this is party games. You need to play. To not the audience, but to the players around you, okay? So, when I try and sell, I have to involve their lives in some way. I think it's very important. 
So, <clears throat> are you guys ready for my pitch? Shoot. Publishing board games, like Moonshell and Mermaid, Mermaid Game by Unfiltered Games, is difficult. And in fact, if you're like my wife, Callie, she needs sparkling fresh water on days of excruciating head work and difficulty, you know, learning about the different mechanisms and publishing aspects of the game. Sadly, my wife is also clumsy. She likes to break all of my tech, and in fact, her own as well. And on the occasion, she may spill sparkling water in her TV that I've just bought her. If that's the case, what I recommend to her and all of you who have lives like mine to buy them a big screen TV. It's bigger, you're already gonna buy one anyway. Might as well be a better screen. Okay, smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was angry through the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it's she, very, it she, is important to play to the players, but I was, I was ready if she's to gonna spill give you a sparkling water on it, you know, just go bigger. <laughs> then she then she has a bigger target to hit. You know, that makes sense. Sadly, yeah, it, it makes it easier. Not, <laughs> but I just figure if you're gonna break your TV, like because your wife's a little clumsy breaking tech, you might as well just get a nicer one after that one. <laughs> Unless you've already bought the big screen, then you just buy another big screen. So our ad just works all the way around. It's like a constant loop People of buying are better. Always buying big screen TVs. How many TVs have I bought in the last two years? Seven. Six. De but those weren't from me. I did not break any of those, actually. I didn't say you did. And the fact no, that she said the you fact that the fact that she said the fact that she said actually in that sentence also insinuates something. It insinuates that she no. does break my products. No, I mean that I didn't break them. Actually, this is the case. This is the exception to the rule. Is what she was no. basically saying. No, <laughs> it means actually means as a matter of fact. Like this is what actually happened. But see, that's always a matter of perspective. <laughs> that's right, baby. Mm, no, what was the last thing you broke? No, you threw something uh, and it hit me in the face, I think. was a lot. You broke my face last time. No, you threw the dog a toy. The dog then brought it back, wanted her to grab the toy and play with him, and instead she didn't. So with his little rope ball, you know those balls with the he long likes ropes? To play with it by he does. He does. No, he was waiting for you to grab it, but you didn't, so he plays him with himself. Just like sometimes I do. And oh. he family so, friendly. I do play I play all kinds of things myself. Video uh -huh. games dirty are mind. best for that. And so he shook the ball with the he shook the rope and, it was and, a rope and, and he toy. flung it and it's a pretty like hefty, hefty toy. And he flung it very hard, actually, for being a dog that's like four pounds. And it hit me right, like, right here in the face. And the rope hit me here, and then here, it, the ball hit me, and I cut the... In I have a huge um, canker sore now because mm -hmm. of the cut the dog gave me. So, sometimes she doesn't actually just specifically target me. It's sometimes inadvertent targeting that, that um, you know... It's not my fault at all. Of course not, baby. Okay. That was just the last, last most recent last time. Last round. We got to try to steal some of these points back from Michael. You will get none, and you will like it. I think you're too good at this game, Michael. I don't know. You guys are both good at this game. Oh. I am not that great. At, I enjoy playing these games. You're giving you're, us money. Your ads are either too confusing or make too much sense. You need something in the Yeah. Game. But, I mean, oh, I these are the cards that I've been dealt. So... Uh, yeah. All right, I mean, I'm, I gotta make my. This is gonna be a book this time. I'm ready. I like. Ready? ready? Yes. So I have it like that. Okay. Got your card? Oh, I don't even know what the heck I got. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and go. All right. Um, you go first. You'll yeah. finish us off, and then well, Max will finish us off at the end. Okay. Right, I gotta hide these. My bad. Puns. I think we're ready. Oh no, a visit with your in-laws is impending next week and you need to look sharp. So don't just use your shoe dryer and your teeth whitener. Shh. Don't forget your lion's mane shaver because mother-in-laws just don't want to see their daughter with a lion. What is a shoe dryer, baby? I don't know. That's I had what to, I was I wondering. It oh, it was actually on a card. I laughed because I thought you, asked, you said a word that made no sense. <laughs> Thank 
face. I, I don't know. It looked like you actually laughed there. You're like that no, at, the, at, at the end, after I started talking, I made myself laugh. But I giggled. Like I was, I, I, I held it in for a bit, yeah. and, and I just started. Uh -huh. I don't even know what you said afterwards. It just the, you said shoe dryer, and I'm like, I just held a shaver. I thought the lion's mane is what got the, the me. lion's no. mane was pretty good. I, I didn't include, even hear that part. I'd include a shoe dryer. I don't know what that is, no. but it sounds like something you'd use like, to get you know, ready usually your pitches, to visit someone. <laughs> your pitches are like usually pretty on point with all the words making sense. And this time, you said a thing that made no sense. So I'm like, well, she just goofed, you know? And that was just funny maybe to me. The shoe, I don't know. I think there's like a shoe drying a rack, maybe. I don't know, a shoe dryer. No, it's the way you used it in context made no sense. I'm like, your shoe dryer? I'm like, we don't, no one has a shoe dryer. Well, I mean, unless like, you just you're make something up. Unless you're living in Seattle where it rains continuously, uh, then a shoe oh, dryer like, would like make sense. like a rack to put your boots or whatever, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready for this one? Um, this one is, well, we should, yeah, you guys will have to em embrace the cringe a little bit, I suppose. Are you having trouble squatting? Has it become challenging due to the unexpected weight gain? Leggings, ripping, tearing, needing to buy new ones, maybe even improve to the jeggings? Well, we here at All Natural, Natural Safe, Natural Foods have come up with the solution for you. Try All Natural, non-artificial ingredients, supernatural pizza. Pizza, it'll keep you from gaining weight. Natural, natural, all natural foods. <laughs> That's right. You just need pizza. That's all. What? <laughs> I <should> probably so. <laughs> it, it, uh, you know, they always use the word natural, and that's like actually if a legal it thing. actually worked, I would no longer be fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody's ever used natural, all natural, natural pizza, okay? If you use like Crazy. organic all natural ingredients, mm -hmm. but they didn't add enough naturals throughout the entire like advertisement. Hey uh, Serge, how's it going? Is that other Brian hiding there in the corner? Yeah, he's I think he is. Watching. He's secretly watching. <laughs> he's like, I've got judgment for you tomorrow. I'll let you know okay. what you goofed on. Final ad. <sighs> the final ad. All right, All right. hopefully I can redeem myself and at least. Good luck something. at making me laugh. I'm going to fight the hardest I've ever fought for no laughing for you. I gotta get myself ready. All right, envision sad things. Toasters running away. Car is being crushed. Crying, crying Dinosaur crying. mom's dying. Okay, I've got it. All right, Mike wants a new grill so bad because he's tired of repairing his old one because every time he tries to make string cheese on his grill, he just makes an absolute mess. So, what he's got to do right now is he needs to get rid of his idea of buying a new grill, keep the one he's got for whatever he can use for it, and just buy gold string cheese. It is the best string cheese on the market. No mess, no fuss, no hassle, just good quality string cheese. I was going to give you money just for insinuating that I should buy a new barbecue. I thought, just told him but to then buy you told me barbecue. not to buy I a barbecue. An ad for barbecue I got all excited. I'm like, he's gonna, buy, he's gonna sell me a bar. I want a barbecue. I've been talking about a Traeger for so long. He he specifically targeted this ad at me, and then he went the other way. Buy food that you don't need a barbecue for. No, you get no. what's you what's the phrase? Should have gone the midnight snack route. Yeah. You, I award you no points. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone here in this room has just become dumber having you said that. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Probably. Have you seen? It's Billy Madison. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, yeah, it's yeah, a thing, no, no. okay? Um, but oh, you did. I, I liked the try. first half. I was yeah, literally just gonna yeah, give you like, money oh, for it. Oh. <sighs> that was a bad ad. Yeah, it was a very bad, bad ad. ad. <laughs> a link in the description for the game. Uh, you laugh, you lose. A party game. So I, I've never actually played a party game where you try and make other people laugh. I don't think. I'm trying to think, not specifically laugh, laugh, but voting can sometimes be from like laughing. You can laugh. There's a lot of games that make you laugh, yeah, but never yeah. when you're specifically trying to get people to laugh. The know. only other game I know where you actually try to make people laugh is this one. 